Hey crypto brothers and sisters, welcome back to the channel. Has China given up the, their fight against Bitcoin? We all know that China had banned Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general a few years back, mainly because China had developed their own digital currency, the digital yen or yuan. You gotta remember guys that China was the leading country in mining Bitcoin. I believe at one point they were responsible for 65 to 75 percent of the hash rate of Bitcoin. China banning the mining was actually a good thing because miners fled around the world to mine Bitcoin. The U.S. is the leading country now with the most miners. CZ from Binance just announced that a Bitcoin and crypto segment just played on the China Central Broadcast Television channel for billions of Chinese citizens to see. CZ said that China citizens were always into crypto and especially Bitcoin. This may be a sign of a bull run coming, guys. Hong Kong Security and the Future Commission just released their framework on allowing customers to trade crypto in Hong Kong. Let's go over what they had to say. So I'm going to pull up their um, little article here so you guys can follow along, but I'm going to go ahead and read it. So basically... A significant majority of respondents agreed to our proposal to allow licensed trading platform operators to serve re for retail investors. The commission said that the SCFC will implement a number of robust measures to protect these investors, including ensuring su suitability in the onboarding process, good governance, enchant token due diligence, admission criteria, and disclosure. The guidelines are virtual assets trading platform operators will begin effective on June 1st. The rules will cover safe custody of assets, segregation of client assets, avoidance of conflicts of interest, and cybersecurity standards and requirements expected of licensed trading platforms. Hong Kong's comprehensive virtual assets regulatory framework follows the principle of the same business, same risk, same rules, and aims to provide robust investors protection and manage key risks, SFC CEO Julia Lang said in a statement. This will enable the industry to develop uh, sustainably and support innovation. Guys, these people are doing way more than what the United States are doing about creating a frame framework and regulation. So, like I said in another video, U.S. is falling behind in, in that end. And hopefully the XRP lawsuit, you know, they win against Gary Gensler and the SEC so we can move forward. But anyway, this is some interesting news coming out of China. And um, if they actually lift the ban, man, it's going to be a crazy bull run, especially with Bitcoin's having coming up in 2024. But anyways, guys, what do you guys think about this video? Comment below. Talk to you guys later.